Right, I'm going to have a go at doing a game of 10 minute rapid. If we get a game quickly. If not, I'll play some bullet. I'm only planning on playing the one game, but if I lose a game quickly, I might play a second one. Okay, 22 0. Good luck. 16,000 games are rapid for my opponent. That's an awful lot of games. Okay, so we're playing the ready from the other side. How do I want to play this? Lots of options. Um, I'm just going to develop. I mean, d4 is kind of a main move, but I'll just get out of... Um, I could even potentially sack there, but just kind of bring it relatively out of theory. Just developing castle, I think. The bishop ups a move, or bishop ups a move, and then castle. He'll probably do something like this. The main reti, you tend to go g3. I'm just going to go here and castle. I don't think he'll take the knight, but you never know. Okay, he goes forward. So I'm going to take the knight, and he's going to bring the bishop here. So I'm going to strike out with an early c5. We'll see if I castle, I'm committed then, but we know the bishop's going to come, and there's going to be a lot of pressure on the diagonals, or he'll come this way. So I'll try and do something about this pawn structure. Oh, he's only gone there. Okay, I'll castle now, and then I'll look to take. So he's got the nice strong center. So I'm going to try and develop my bishop to one of these and do something about this or the pawn. I still think he's more likely to end up on this diagonal one. He's playing bishop up, just very solid, stable development. So do I want to try and remove this bishop or encourage him to push the pawn forward? I don't really gain anything doing that, do I? So I'm going to just challenge the bishop and try and develop my knight, but the knight will likely be attacked immediately. So it's going to be a little bit misplaced, the knight, assuming he trades, I think he will, but he might not. And then I'll try and transfer the knight all the way over to this side of the board somewhere. Okay, but he's likely to try and challenge the knight in somewhere, so I'll have to come back, or even back to its starting square. So how do I want to do it? I mean, I could go forward, but I don't see any further moves to go to. I don't really want to go here, but I could go around that way, couldn't I? Hmm. Yeah, I will do that. I can come here to go here. He might do this, though. That could be a slight problem. If he does, I guess I can just come back and go here. Okay, so let's come round and hope I'm not getting too bogged down now. I might be here. I'm probably going to go back and try and come this way. I need to slow down. I'm playing mainly bullet chess, of course. So when I play rapid, I've got to try and adjust to the right pace of the game. Play too quickly, especially against the stronger players, you're just asking for trouble. Depending on what happens, knight f6 is my target move. Then if he pushes, I can still jump forward. If he pushes now, try and come around anyhow. That's my initial thoughts. And at some point, maybe h6 to guard g5. But of course, depending on what my opponent does, I might play a move like g6 at some point. Yeah, knight forward, so that's going to be a problem. 
So if I go here, I'm encouraging f4. Knight f6, I think, is still a perfectly good move. We hit the pawn. Knight out wide. Queen across at least is a move, though he does hit the pawn here, so queen up might be a move. It's whether I want to play a bishop here and try not to trade the bishop, but after knight down, hmm, feels a bit uncomfortable. I'm going to go here. I expect this, and then it's whether I go here. My knight guards my queen, and if he takes, I can take back. But of course he'll be hitting the pawn, so he's just guarded. Okay, I might as well deal out the bishop now then. Let's see, where's that knight going to go? He might want me to take there, though, to get a really strong pawn storm. He might want me to take there. Just a simple move like rook across. In which case I won't be able to take there. Hmm, might be getting a bit of a strong attack here. Ooh, I've just blundered. I've just blundered catastrophically, haven't I? If he goes here, can I get away with it going here? I'm not sure I can. I wasn't even paying attention to a simple pawn push. So I have to go here to hit the bishop. Knight check, and I'm lucky I can take back with the queen, because obviously there's a discovery on the queen. Hmm. Yeah, just not playing at the right pace, playing a bit too quickly, not paying attention, and he's working out a plan. And that's why chess is so easy to go wrong. So let's just see what he does here. Well, he does take, so I'm going to have to take. And I can't take because I just lose the queen, I lose the game. Mm, if I take the bishop, he's got the knight check, and I simply lose the game and resign. So I have to actually take the pawn. So this game is effectively over. Mm, just to simply not paying attention. Not paying attention and it's as good as over now. I'll have to push a pawn, but it's useless. So yeah, against the stronger players, at whatever level you play at, it's largely a waste of time now, isn't it? Knight across, he goes here, check, and he's... I'm not actually really winning anything. So I'll just play a simple holding move for now. Maybe I can do this, but... Mm. If he takes, he at least walks into a pin. I don't think he will. No, simply knight back. Keep it simple. Let's go here and try and push the pawn. Mm. My only chance now is to play really quickly. But obviously my opponent should be far too strong for that. So this one's effectively a write-off now. But even if I got knight here, bishop there, check. I mean, even with an exchange, it's not really much now. Yeah, rook comes down. So I think I have to come back. I see nothing else. Well, see, I'm trying to just march the pawns that little bit further forward, but... So let's go here, then try and go here. Maybe I can bring the queen up into play, but asking a lot now, asking an awful lot. So he's played queen back. So I'm just going to play queen up. There's no point, like I say, doing anything other than playing essentially quickly now. My only chance is the clock, but... With rapid and four minutes for my opponent, he's got bags of time to convert this. Obviously, knight across is a basic threat with a checkmate threat, a check threat, but should be able to defend it. Not bishop there, though. I'll simply take the bishop. Bishop here might be a move. Then I'll maybe start push the pawns a little bit more. Okay, so he's played queen there. So is queen up a move here? Try and get in my opponent's half of the board. But what do I do next? If I go here, he's got this. If I go here, he's maybe got that. If I go here, 
then I'm getting my queen trapped. So I can't go there. G4 traps the queen. If I go here, queen across, then I can come here. And then he's got this. So I think I kind of have to go forward. I'm going forward because I don't see any other playable moves. And then hopefully I can bail out this way. Obviously I've got to try and keep the queen on the board. Okay, he's gone there. So if I come here now, what do I do if he does g3? I still end up trapped, don't I? I still end up having to go to f6 and he's got knight d7. Now, see, there is this here now, if I can just deal with my queen, but I don't see any safe way to do it. Here he goes here. I can't take any of the pawns. I can't go there without trading. I come here and he's got the simple knight down. So I think I have to come this side. Hope I can really just drop right back. Excuse me. Even knight across now, he might be able to do this to break a pin. Although I guess this knight takes rook. So there is a half threat on the board. Otherwise, I'm just looking at dropping the queen back. And trying to reset. Played queen across. Okay. So knight over now. He can simply move the rook and that's not a threat. Knight here. It's not really a threat. Knight's quite well placed, I think. What about a move like rook across? This pawn gets weak, but... Hmm. It's not really threatening anything, is it? This is still an annoying move, though. So I'm just going to drop the queen back. And hopefully, nudge these forward ever so slightly. Maybe this one, and then this one. Rook's gone back. So I'm going to push and then try and go here. He might sack a rook for knight. He's still going to be better. He's played the knight forward. So do I have to go back here? He's got this. So queen up. Knight takes. Rook across. Pawn down and I can't actually pin. Is queen up a move? I don't see anything better. I see I want to try and play this, but again, it's very difficult. And not really an outpost here. Is knight up a move now? Queen takes, I've got check. Is knight up a move now? Hmm, I'm not sure it is. I'm going to just push the pawn and try and push again. Knight up, he might be able to simply take actually, yeah, and I can't take back because of the queen. Nothing guarding my queen. So he's dropped his knight back, so can't I just simply push again now? There is this here, but I can get tempo on the queen. And maybe come back. I'm just going to drop back first because he's got knight down. I'm still threatening to push, potentially. I was threatening to push. But now I've got knight up, hit the queen, and I'm threatening a check. Has he gone wrong? Hmm. I think he's allowed this now. I think he might have to give the exchange up. It might be perfectly good for my opponent, though. He's still going to be materially better. Hmm. 
Now hopefully I can try and get a bit more into the game. So let's centralize the queen and try and activate the rooks now. Try and get forward. I do not want to trade the queen. So I'm just going to immediately drop straight back. If I go here, he's still got this. If I move the rook, the f7 pawn is very weak. He's played knight there anyhow. So I'm going to shift the queen across. Again, the pawn's nice if I can keep it, but it's not quite as critical now. But he's still threatening this. I could drop back. I could go here. Threaten a check and collect. If that knight gets in and shifts my rook, that's very tough to deal with. So I'm just going to drop back. My opponent must be still better, so he won't want to repeat. So if I just go forward now. I see there is a problem knight in. I'm going to have to shift the rook. It's not easy, but there is a pawn target there. He's gone back. So I'm going to shift the pawn. Knight's coming again, now threatening a check. And I can't go on a light square because it's still a check. Hmm, is that the move that does it for him? Actually, I suppose I can shift the king. No point playing rook across, he can check anywhere. So if I move the king, does it matter whether I'm on light or dark? Hmm. My gut feeling is to go on the light square. I might be wrong, but I think I need to go there. Knight across, then what on earth am I going to do? Maybe run this side. I'm going to go here, threatening maybe a check. No serious threat, though. Yeah, queen back. So I'm going to check and then maybe come back. Just hit the knight. Oh, he's dropped it. That's the knight. That's the time pressure. So now I should be fine to trade queens. Now I'd be delighted to trade the queen. And he has. That is purely the time pressure. He's got a big threat here though. So how do I deal with that? I've got time. Can I just simply go here to go here? But he's got a check if the bishop lands here. And I can't then guard my rook. So that's not good. So I think I come back here with a view to rook up if he plays bishop in. And he resigns. That is a really good turnaround, isn't it? That is really, really good win.